Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big edge with another video, man. New media notification game. Go squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Forgive me. I've been sick for the past like week. Damn near two weeks. For real, for real. My the whole house sick. Keep real with y'all. But um, I've been the most healthy out of everybody, so. That's the reason why I ain't made shit. But after seeing this video that I just saw on Fight Height, shout out Fight Height with Leonard Ellaby because I ain't been watching hella shit. I've been too busy focusing on the well-being of my, of my household and shit. So forgive me again. But I just watched that shit. And I saw the, 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 the Tim Zhu from Dora shit. I saw this great fight. Cool. Congratulations to from Dora. All the shit. After getting knocked out, boom, boom, boom. You show that this is this is what the sport is really about. Is even though you had a you got knocked out in the previous fight, you come back, you got an opportunity to fight in a major in a big fight. You fight that fight, you come out. The vic, the you come out victorious, even though everybody probably thought you wasn't gonna win that fight because of the last fight you had, and you come out in this fight and you win. Like that's what the sport is really about. If you really want to be technical, like stuff like that, that's what that's what make you get up for the sport of boxing. Is people like Fundora how they can you know be on be on the um the downward spiral at a time and then they get opportunity and then they're right back where they pretty much where they was, if not higher prior to them losing type shit. <laughs> but anyway, I wasn't finna say shit about Keith Thurman. Cause I already knew Queefy. He ain't, he just blowing smoke. Queefy blowing smoke. <laughs> blowing smoke. So I ain't worried about Queef Thurman. He just, he just clout chasing just like a lot of, motherfuckers now that didn't had some of their biggest fights in the sport of boxing and the fact that they still talking all they really doing is clout chasing they ain't really finna do nothing significant i say all that to say this leonard ellerby you got boxing fans all across the board fucked up all of them for your black ball head greasy bell pepper nose having ass to say when do asked you about fans feeling some type of way about Errol Spence and oh this is this this friend beat them for Errol Spence to get an opportunity to fight the winner of Fundora in Tim Zhu and he ain't even activate his rematch shit for Terrence then all and then he ain't do none of that shit whatever and you want to talk about the what fans Twitter Twitter boxing fans or 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 other boxing fans. Nigga, we the, the same boxing fans that's on Twitter. The same motherfucking fans that's on Twitter is the same motherfucking fans that's every fucking goddamn where else, Leonard. Them ain't different niggas. Okay? Cause some of the same motherfucking boxing fans that's talking to you, getting at your hoe ass, is the same fucking boxing fans that follow Coach Malachi. Follow me. They follow uh, uh, Mac Mob, Blood Boxing, shit, even them LDBC niggas, Blue Blood, 78, the same niggas that's getting at you on Twitter, Leonard, is the same fucking niggas that's every goddamn where else, bro. So don't sit up here and act like it's two different types of fan base when it comes to the sport of boxing. Nigga, no, it ain't, boxing ain't that goddamn deep, nigga. Cut the cap, nigga. Cut the cap. We the same niggas, bro. Stop it, Leonard. Another thing. Now, all of a sudden, Errol, you want to bring your whole ass out the motherfucking woodwork. Ain't said shit since Jesus was a motherfucking pup. Now, all of a sudden, you ready to fight the winner of Fundora and Tim Zoo. Hmm. But last thing we heard about your whole ass was, nigga, you had motherfucking patch on your eye. Just had eye surgery, blah, 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 blah. You recovering from, you know, all the shit, blah, blah, blah. Woo. Like, we all see you in the gym working out, preparing to get back in shape, shit like that. Hope not. Nothing like that. This nigga, top, first thing we see of this nigga, since this nigga said, my eye fucked up, can't fight Terrence. All right. Oh, I want to fight the winner of Tim Zhu and Fundora. Two. 
I'm going to tell you all this shit right here, right now, bro. If you know, you know. If you ain't trying to know, you just ain't trying to know. God bless you. But PBC is letting y'all know. Don't give a fuck if it's subconsciously, subliminally, whatever the fuck it is. They telling y'all niggas straight the fuck up. They showing y'all. Not just telling you. They showing you. And showing is proving. So the fact that these niggas is showing you. They didn't want, they don't want to see that shit again, bro. All that, that shit, all that shit was a, just another reason to get out of the motherfucking Terrence Crawford remakes. We already knew, we should have knew that Errol Spence was not finna go back in the ring with Terrence Crawford after he just took that type of an ass whooping, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. We should have knew better. Or at least I should have knew motherfuck better. Because <laughs> on some real shit, Errol Spence knew after that fight was over. He ain't finna fight that nigga again. He knew that shit. Everybody on the PBC side knew. He ain't fighting that nigga again. They lucky they got this one. Real rap. PBC. Premier boxing champs. Only promote in-house fights, bro. If you want to fight a PBC nigga, you have to come to PBC. You have to come there. Or... If PBC don't give no fucks about you, they have no real real estate or stock really into you, and you're expendable, yeah, they'll throw you to the goddamn wolves. They'll, you're sure. But if they have real estate, stock, and things invested and time invested into you, nah, bro. PBC. So all that shit, if anybody's a PBC fighter, understand they only fighting in house fights so if they're not on pbc they're not fighting them understand what i'm telling you niggas bro stop making this shit more goddamn difficult stop talking to me about goddamn terrence crawford and fucking boots because when boots had the had the opportunity to exercise his right with the wbo to fight terrence crawford the nigga didn't do the shit but you motherfuckers ain't got shit to say about that you want to talk about the shit the nigga doing now and all that shit because where boots is supposed to be at right now but if Errol Spence would have beat the fuck out of Terrence, if the, if the roles would have been reversed, y'all wouldn't be talking about boots. Y'all would have y'all have every excuse to not fight the nigga. Errol too big, Errol chasing Canelo, blah, 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 all this little cap shit, whatever. But because it's Terrence, somebody that's actually trying to, it's funny. It is very funny how the dudes that are actually good and are actually trying to be great in the sport of boxing get the most hate and get get talked about in the most negative light. But the motherfuckers that's just out for the check, y'all love them. They gets no flack like that. But the motherfuckers that's really out here chasing greatness and really trying to do great shit get all the negative publicity, all the negative smoke. Well, more of the negative smoke than anything else. I ain't gonna say all of it because then other niggas do get some negative from which they do do dumb shit. So I ain't gonna sit up here and cap and act like them niggas just don't get no heat whatsoever. Nah, that's, that's bullshit. But when it comes to fighters that are actually good and are, that are actual threat to other boxers and they're actually willing to fight them type shit, oh yeah, they get smoked, bro. They get all the hate. They ain't this, they don't sell, they blah, 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 blah. all that bullshit. All that shit cap. All cap. All cap. Especially when you know that's the fight fans want to see type shit. Like what the, how the fuck that fight don't make sense when it's hella motherfuckers willing to pay for it. The, that might, that fight makes all the sense. But the fact that Leonard Ellerby said that Errol Spence would get that opportunity <clears throat> because he family. And Tim Zhu and Fundora are PBC fighters. Terrence Crawford is. He is technically a free agent. Where I'm on Errol Spence is that, nigga, you hella cap, nigga. You cap. Like, you you, you said, nigga, words came out your mouth. You was going to run it back, blah, 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 da, 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 da. You ain't finna fight Terrence, bro. You didn't even want to fight the nigga the first time. Like, all this shit y'all seeing. In my, that's why y'all don't see videos from me every day. Because I know... Shit be bullshit. Let's sit back. Let me sit back and watch. 
That's why y'all don't get videos every goddamn day, every time somebody do shit. Let me sit back and watch. Let me sit back and watch what's happening. Let me sit back and watch what motherfuckers gonna do. Let me see how the playing field finna play out. And then once I see how this shit really finna play out, nigga, bam. Okay, so that was bullshit right here. When you did that, oh, that was cap. Oh, when you did that, oh, you was on some whole shit. Oh, this part, yeah, you was serious about this shit. But over here, you was all bullshit. So all this Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, rematch shit, that shit was capped from the jump. Then the bullshit that happened with the IBF that y'all do not talk about. They took, they took the motherfucking belt from the nigga. Emailed it to motherfucking boots, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm contractably obligated to fight Errol right now. Like, you know that. It's on paper. Like, that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, that's who I'm waiting on. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm not wrong for that. I'm not ducking somebody because I got to, I'm, I'm obligated to fight this nigga next. Like, I, I owe this nigga his get back. I'm supposed to give him his get back. Can I get a nigga his get back first? Oh, well, we're going to take it from him. Fuck y'all niggas then. And y'all mad about that. If that would have been Errol Spence or any f fighter that you're a fanboy on, you, would, you, would, you, would have, you wouldn't you would have that energy that you have towards Terrence Crawford. You wouldn't be on that. But all this fanboy shit going on in boxing and all this other bullshit that be going on in boxing that's unfucking necessary, but whatever. But for Leonard to sit there and say or talk about boxing fans as if the same boxing fans that's on Twitter is just some different types of motherfuckers. Like the boxing fans on Twitter are different than the boxing fans every fucking where else. No, nigga, they're the same motherfucking boxing fans that's every goddamn where else, bro. We ain't different motherfuckers. I know the motherfuckers, same motherfuckers on Twitter, same motherfuckers on Instagram, same motherfuckers on, Inst on uh, uh, Facebook, same motherfuckers on uh, fucking YouTube, same motherfuckers on Twitch. Same motherfuckers all over the goddamn place is the same motherfuckers that's getting at you on Twitter. But you want to act like that shit different, bro. The fuck out of here, Leonard. You got motherfuckers fucked up. Straight up. When it comes to great fights, all this shit, when they say fights that make sense, bro, a lot of the shit that they be saying is contradictory bullshit. Shout out to my nigga Gun Rights Mafia because you say that shit all the time. PBC is full of contradiction in a whole fucking organization. The whole fucking organization is a walking contradiction. And I quote, nigga, shout out to my nigga Gun Rights Mafia, bro. You said shit to me all the time about PBC, bro. All the time. And what you seeing? So you mean to tell me, Leonard, in front of God and everybody with a straight fucking face, bro, with a straight face, bro, that Errol Spence gets the opportunity to fight the winner of Fundora and Tim Zhu too. After getting his ass whipped by Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford can't get that fight. He's not going to get that fight. Errol going to get it though. Because he's a PBC fighter. But Terrence... The guy that whipped Errol's ass, he nah, he ain't getting that. But Terrence is like you. You don't even. The only argument. This is how you know it's bullshit. The only argument that Leonard Ellaby has based on giving Errol Spence this fight is not because he sell, he do all this shit. He's a bigger star. He's more accomplished than Terrence. None of that. Cause you can't argue that. He family. Meaning he PBC. We only promote PBC. Y'all need to get that. All you niggas on YouTube, content creators, all you niggas alike. PBC niggas only fight PBC niggas. The only way you gonna get a fight over there is if you bring your ass over there. Canelo took his ass over there and saw them niggas didn't have no money and cut. But the nigga still had to go over there to get some smoke, though. The nigga still went over there. Regardless if niggas had money or not, he still, to get the fight that he wanted to get or whatever the fuck he wanted to do in his career at the particular time, he had to take his whole Mexican ass over there to fucking premier box of champions. So if you want to fight them niggas, you have to sign with them niggas 
and be on that same bullshit that them niggas be on. The not selling, who is you, duh, 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 duh. we only do pay-per-view, blah, blah, blah. All, all that shit smoke and mirrors is bullshit, bro. All of it. So for Leonard, for you to come forth, bro, and say the shit what you said about the boxing fans, for you to all of a sudden act like Errol Spence just deserves a fight of that magnitude right away after nigga getting out of his contract. Like that nigga, I, I can't respect you as as motherfucker, man. Fundora, they be like, no, that's my, well, Fundora got, Fundora didn't have no contract obligations. Fundora didn't have no rematch clauses, okay? Fundora just got knocked the fuck out in a fight, normal, regular fucking fight, no rematch clause. Didn't have to wait to see what the next nigga gonna do to see if he something gonna happen or not happen. He ain't had to do nothing. He ain't worried about none of that shit. Okay? Fundora just had a regular normal fight, got knocked the fuck out, and because motherfucking Queef Thurman decides to, you know what I'm saying, get injured because he didn't decide to get injured. He got, nigga decided to get injured because Queef, no, he don't train like that. Queef Thurman, no, he don't work out like that. Queef Thurman, no, he don't take this shit as serious as he used to in his younger years, and he's nowhere near as hungry as he was then. So Queef, no, he bullshit. Queef, no, that he ain't got it like that no more. He know that shit. So what happens is when you do get injured, the matchmaker has to find another fighter who is available. And guess who? Just so happened to be available via PBC side. Sebastian Fundora. Hey, he got the call. Hey, man. Queef Thurman pulled out. You ready to scrap with Tim Zoo? You, you got like two weeks. Maybe, I think, three, two, three weeks to prepare. So hopefully you in some shape. So he picked up a fight on short notice and showed up and showed out. That nigga deserves a motherfucking round of applause. This ain't what Errol Spence is on, okay? Errol Spence got his ass waz ass 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 whipped by none other than Terrence Crawford. In an undisputed welterweight bout. And was contractably obligated to rematch Terrence Crawford. And opt out due to injury. So you mean to, and that wasn't like it was like super low September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So that was about seven months ago. Seven months ago. And you said you had this orbital eye injury, blah, blah, blah. So at this juncture, I wouldn't, you shouldn't be talking about fighting nobody. You should be in the gym, working out, getting in shape. How you know he not? Nigga, because normal nine times out of ten, a nigga his, of his stature and prestige, nigga, if he's in the gym working out, somebody's going to have their phone filming this nigga and be happy to post that shit and film Earl Spence first day back in the gym working out. Shut the fuck up talking to me. Please. Okay? Shut the fuck up talking to me. All right? So, all this shit y'all seeing in the sport of boxing, damn near, is cap. The only motherfuckers, straight up, I'm going to say it too, the only motherfuckers that's really in the boxing game that scrap, fight whoever, the fucking um, Brits, the UK, all motherfuckers over on the UK side. All them niggas, them niggas scrap, them niggas fight, whoever, whenever, however, don't give a fuck, it don't matter, them niggas fight, don't get no fucks, you niggas over here in the States, nah, y'all on that suck shit, bro, y'all on that suck shit, Leonard, you got boxing fans fucked up, bro, and Terrence Crawford, my nigga, you got niggas fucked up, Errol Spence don't deserve no, no fucking Tim Zoo Fundoro fight, you don't deserve no fight, out the winner of that shit. No, you got the ain't fucked up. Nah, I don't get no. You hating on it? He don't deserve the shit. He don't. Now, 
let's say, for debate's sake, before I get the fuck up out of here, I'm 20 minutes in, you know, I don't like to do a 20 minute goddamn video, but I had to get all this shit out, plus a nigga been gone for a minute, so I had to get speak, forget, speak to my people, so look, so, hypothetical, let's just say, Tim Zoo get hurt, right, we ain't heard nothing from Errol Spence, nothing, at all, nothing, and Tim Zoo get hurt for the Tim Zoo from door two fight, and then Errol Spence pull up, that I can get with, I can get with that. I ain't got nothing to say about that. I have no gripe about that. I have no, you have no debate, no argument, nothing for me. Nothing. Nothing. At all. And he wins? Oh, you have, you have no argument. You have no argument. He just got, he got the same call from Dora got. I ain't mad at that. You can't be mad at the fighter who get the call and get a fight on short notice and show up and show out. You, that nigga, that's, that's what the sport's about right there. I ain't mad at that. But to say you get the winner out these two dudes after the show they put on and they finna put on another show and you supposed to get the winner of them two after you just got your ass whipped like that, nigga, and, 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 and y'all gonna literally say how he ain't, he don't deserve this, nigga, no. Y'all got the game fucked up. Y'all got boxing fans Fucked up. All the way, bro. All the way. And the fact that y'all really just finna just, y'all just saying this shit like it's like, like, like ain't nobody, y'all like ain't nobody finna say nothing. Y'all just, y'all just finna act like he ain't just say no dumb shit. Y'all, y'all just finna skim over that shit. Like, nigga, like, we not finna, I'm not, I'm not finna let you live that shit down, Leonard. Nope. I've let you live down a couple of interviews where I, I could have just chewed you. I could have had so many videos of Leonard fucking LRB saying one thing and then saying something else in a whole nother video. I could have been ripping Leonard ball head, greasy bell, pepper nose, having ass the fuck up many fucking moons ago. But God damn it, Leonard, that shit there, Nick. No, you know, I'm not letting you lay that down, bro. I'm not letting you lay that one down, bro. Hell no. How you gonna disrespect your fans? Your fans. See y'all, even in, even your the fanboys don't even know they got disrespected. Yo, you disrespected your fans, you disrespected boxing fans as a whole group and conglomerate. You got us fucked up, bro. Fuck you, Leonard. We the same niggas, bro. We ain't different niggas. Don't sit there and play that dumb shit. Hell the fuck no. And Errol Smith don't deserve no winner or no Tim Zoo or or um. Tim Zoo Fundora too. Nah, he got the game fucked up, Leonard. Fucked up. That don't make no good goddamn sense. I can see if he was gonna fight like Erickson Lubin or some shit like that. Okay, okay, Errol. Okay, Errol, I'll see you. Okay, that's your first fight back. You fight Erickson Lubin. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. I respect your gangster. Nah, nothing like that. You trying to, nigga, no. I, I just can't, but straight up, PBC niggas only fight in-house fights. If they not on PBC, there is a high probability they will not fight. They will talk about each other to boost off a motherfucking profile. They'll do all the talking. He this, he that, he ain't this. They'll talk. Them niggas ain't signing no contract. I did this. I sent it. They not going to fight. I don't give a fuck if niggas said he sent the contract to as long as you not on PB, get it in your fucking skull cap. If he's not on PBC, niggas not gonna fight. I give a fuck what anybody say, bro. If y'all don't get nothing else from this goddamn 25, 26, 30, whatever fucking minute video, PBC niggas only fight PBC niggas. All the little talks about who ducky who the. Ain't no PBC gonna fight nobody outside of that unless they know for the fact they have the full, total, complete advantage. Meaning that they know for a fact they're gonna win the fight, they're gonna make the most money, they're gonna get as most monetization out of that situation as clinically possible, and it's, they're the ones that's gonna benefit the most out of it. If that is the case, yeah, they might do that shit. 
But if it ain't, and nine times out of ten, that's not the case. That's not how it's really being when they, when they fight dudes outside of the PBC organization. Okay? If y'all don't get nothing the fuck else. Premier Boxing Champions is just a walking contract fuck addiction, bro. All right? Get that shit through your goddamn heads. Stop talking to me about fucking Terrence Crawford and fucking Boots, bro. Boots is, nigga ain't finna fight motherfucking Terrence. If Boots wanted to fight Terrence, he had to exercise his right with WBO and fight that nigga. He didn't do that shit. Niggas don't respect the WBO for some strange fucking reason. But if for some reason, you need to have it to be considered an undisputed fucking champion in the four belt era. But whatever the case, whatever. That just makes too much goddamn sense for niggas. Okay? Leonard, you got us fucked up. Real rap. One.